Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine, and in learning computer science, you're probably gonna hear a lot of technical terms. In this video, we are gonna be looking at parameters versus arguments. So let's start off by defining what a parameter actually is. A parameter is used to refer to the variable found in a function's definition, its signature. It's a special kind of variable that is used to pass information into functions. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have a class called example, and inside of it, a function called hello. Hello has zero parameters, zero inputs to the function. The function itself acts like a machine, and when run, it will print out hi. To get it to run, we'll need to call it in our main method or our main function here on line eight. And so to do that, we just go hello, and that will call the function itself. So if we go ahead, I'm using IntelliJ here, but run this Java file, in the console we'll see hi. And there it is. With our function up and running, we can now add a single parameter to the function's definition. And so in this case, we'll wanna add a name. And so that way it can say, hi Catherine, or hi Arthur, or Andrew, or whoever. And so to do that, we'll go string name, because we wanna add a variable called name, and it's gonna be of type string. And where are we gonna add this? Right here in our code in this print statement, we're just gonna add the fact we wanna say hi, and then whatever name that we give as an input to this function. Now, where do arguments come in? The argument is the value that is passed into the parameter of the given function. We pass values into the function when we call it. And so in this main method below, you know, we get an error and that's because we don't have an argument that's gonna match up with our parameter. And so name is our parameter and our argument, we're just gonna say is Catherine. And so that's the value we're giving this name parameter up here when we call it. Ultimately, when line nine here is executed, the hello function will be called and the string name, that's gonna have the value Catherine. And so when this line four is evaluated, it's gonna print out, hi Catherine. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens in our console. In this case, we should get hi Catherine because we've added Catherine as an argument. It's used inside of the function in that print statement and that's what we get here below. Now let's say we wanna add another input to the function, another parameter. We have to add another parameter to hello in order to add another argument when we call it. Now let's say I wanted it to print out, hi Catherine and Andrew. What I would need to do is first add a parameter to my hello function definition. And in this case, it'll still be a string, but we'll call it another name. And then we'll change the body of our code to be using that parameter. And so we'll go hi, and then the first name, and then and, and then we'll add the second name here. Since we changed how many parameters and the type of parameters up here in our hello definition, we'll need to update our hello function call as well. And so in this case, I'll add Andrew as the other name or another name is gonna take on the value of Andrew. So that way when I call this function name, we'll get the value of Catherine, another name will get the value of Andrew, and this will print out Catherine, or hi Catherine and Andrew. So if we go ahead and run this, we'll see this is in fact the case in our console. Now let's go ahead and copy this and paste it in again, and we're gonna switch the names. And the reason we're doing this is because order does in fact matter. And so if I go like that, we play it again, it's gonna say hi Andrew and Catherine because Andrew is in that first slot and that means name is gonna get the value of Andrew and Catherine is in the second slot and so another name, this parameter up here is gonna get the value of Catherine. And we see it swapped here in our console. Now we can also swap when we're using our parameters and how we're accessing them. So let's say I wanted to do another name here first and then name here. I can do that, and in this case, because Andrew is second here, and this first on line nine, because Andrew is second here, another name gets the value of Andrew, and so therefore, that name is printed first in this function call on line nine. And then the opposite is true on line 10. So if I play it again, these two lines will be switched, where it goes, you know, hi Andrew and Catherine first, and then hi Catherine and Andrew second because I switched the order here in the implementation of our hello function. 
So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss any new programming tutorials, and if there's something you think I should cover, comment down below. Thanks for watching!